Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy this special tribute to the recipient of the 2015, and it grants me great honour to present it to you, Mr. John Murray. <laughs> What a day this has been for me. <clears throat> uh, I suppose I have to say that I don't know how it could be possible to be more passionate about my industry than I've been all my life. <clears throat> you know, when I was a little boy, when I was a young boy coming up, I was booked into the Dookie Agricultural College. <laughs> and my grandmother and my mother were hairdressers. And one day, in front of my mother at the breakfast table, I said, Mum, I think I want to be a hairdresser. And she said, Darling, do you? Yeah. And from that day, my life has been blessed. Today, giving the presentation with Lee that I did, um, came from the heart. My God, did it ever. Those of you who know me know that I don't bullshit. Um, <laughs> yeah, wow. And to receive this award, what, what can I say? What can I really say? At my age to be honoured with something like this by the industry and the people here tonight just makes me feel uh, awesome. No, no, we, let's find a better word than awesome. It's, it's something that y you, don't, y you don't expect in your life. I mean, like for those of you who heard my words today... Um, it was a reflection of what drove me all my life, which y you don't know until you get older. Because when you're young, you're driven, but you don't know what it's about. You just have ideals and goals, and you push yourself, and you push your barriers. And But then when you get older, you look back and you think, my God... What, what made me do that? I look around to, uh, at other people in my era and why did I achieve what they didn't? And stuff like that. It's really amazing. And I'm quite sure... Look, Benny Tognini is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. But, you know, in another 20 or 30 years' time, there'll be other people standing on a stage like this, and you can imagine what this is going to be like in that time, that are going to say similar things to me as, as I do, because to get to my age and to receive an award in recognition of, of my life and passion in hairdressing is a night that... Uh, an achievement that uh, will rate in the rankings of my success, if you like, as one of the highlights of my career. And <laughs> you know, sure, I've had great people around me. I've made great friends in the industry, which I love. At the moment, I'm surrounded by beautiful Balinese people who, with the guidance of Jackie and I, are just, just getting better every day. And just to see these people... You know, in Bali, 15 years ago, in Ubud, where I live... Monkey Forest Road, which is the main road, was a dirt track. And 
the young people of today, their parents worked in rice fields and their grandparents walk around like this. Because, because all they've done is cut rice in the fields. This is where we live. It's not a Western society. It's a group of young people coming up and what are they going to do in the future? But what Jackie and I are doing in our villas are bringing this young group of people up with the experience that we've gained over. And look, some of, a lot of you ha weren't there today. I'll tell you, we've got a beautiful young girl. She's a young butler. And she came up as a part-timer. And she entered our full-time staff and she couldn't speak English. Now, sure, we pay for our staff to go to uh, English courses. And her name's Darty. And she's gorgeous. And the other day she came over to our house with some food. And she's just amazing. And I said to her, Darty, your English is just so good. And she said to me, no, John, I am just getting better every day. And that's the teachings that we're giving these people. And it's so satisfying. I mean, I've spent my life teaching and, and motivating and educating and giving incentives to my staff from right back to when I started in business. Where we are now, these beautiful young people, they're just thriving on what we can give them. So to Linda, I was just saying to Lee Cohen, Linda, you are an inspiration, darling. What you are doing. <clears throat> what you are doing with a small team of very, very enthusiastic and, and great followers, you are doing in the industry what I, I, I call just um, amazing because, you know, you're doing it basically through the drive and love and passion of the industry and your magazines. It's so special, as I said today, and putting on an event like this. And what, what, what are you going to be doing in the future, Lee? I mean, it's, uh, Linda, it's just exceptionally fantastic. So to you and everybody in Mocker and your wonderful magazine and everything, and to Australian hairdressers and the hairdressing industry out there, John Murray wants to say, from my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. Put your hands together for John Murray.